Hey all, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another different kind of haul video. I'm sharing some really great bargains that I got at Bell's Outlet. So if you don't know what Bell's Outlet is, it's kind of the same idea as like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx. They get a lot of like brands and such that, you know, I guess from closeouts and things like that. Um, some really nice brands and such. Um, I've gotten some really good deals the last couple of times I went there. Um, when I show you some of the prices of these clothes, and mind you, these are brand new with tag items. It was amazing. Some of these things I've had a while, so I just thought I'd throw it in the haul. I'm going to show you all the shirts. I'm going to hang them up on a hanger so you guys can see them better. And then the vast majority of the other part of the haul is going to be shorts because it's the end of the summer and stores just want to get rid of their summer stuff to make room for fall and winter. So I'll show you all the item, tell you what I paid, and that'll be that. So let's go ahead and we're going to start with the shirts. So this is the first shirt that I picked up. This is by a brand called Street Rules. I've never heard of such a thing, or this brand specifically. Um, it looks like it retails for $19.99 elsewhere. Bell's had it for $6.99. Uh, the Bell's I went to is in Pennsylvania, so it is tax-free on clothing and shoes all the time, as opposed to Maryland, where we get one week of tax-free on that stuff. So sometimes I get a... I, forget and I'm like oh I didn't have to pay tax on that yes when I go to Goodwill or a place like Bell's or even Walmart and PA so that's the first shirt that I really like it's a nice light blue material it's got some um, looks like pressed on appliques of anchors so that's probably gonna have to be washed inside out alrighty so this I actually bought I think towards the beginning of the summer, it's just a Vans t-shirt and it's got an anchor on it. You guys know me, I love anchors. Very coastal. Uh, that was $9.99. Let's focus, there we go. $9.99. I've been seeing a lot of Vans stuff coming into our stores and Bells and such. Uh, Vans used to be able to get at Kohl's. I got my shoes there back in the day when I went through a little Vans phase. And then I think that was mostly my middle school years. And then I, excuse me, I went to other brands, but yeah, this shirt was 10 bucks. I know if I bought this elsewhere, like at an outlet or maybe like a specialty store, this would have been probably maybe 25, 30 maybe. This next shirt was made by Perry Ellis America. I guess that was their line. Um, this was, I think, bought, I think I bought this the first time I went to, it was called Burke's, now it's Bell's. And, I mean, I was astounded by their prices. Now, this shirt originally retailed for $39.50. Um, Bell's got it for $12.99. Um, it did get reduced down further. These were actually $3.90. One thing I would like to suggest to you all is if you see a shirt that you really like and in the same size that you are, um, I would recommend picking up both of them if the price is right. So the, like I said, these were $3.90 a piece. So if I see a shirt that I like or a pair of shoes that I like and they're relatively inexpensive enough, I'll buy them both or I'll buy two pairs of them or two of the same shirt. That way, if I wear one out, I still have another one. And I usually wear my shirts until they can't be worn anymore, so they'll last me a while. So that was a steal of a deal. $3.90 for a brand new shirt. So I rarely ever buy this brand, Denim and Flower. Uh, it runs rather small, and me being six foot two, and about a little over 200 pounds, um, the shirts are really designed like they're wider. They're not lengthy like I need because of my height. So I usually steer clear of this brand, but this one is a, I mean, as you can see, it is a 4XL. 
and this fits like an extra large or like a 2x on me so i did go ahead and buy that that was originally 24 dollars um bells had it for 9.99 and then it got marked down to 750 so 25 percent off of their price so i said what the heck let me go ahead and give it a shot for like i said 4x is at least in this brand is like a 2x for me so I was very happy to pick that up. So this is a pair of Nike, I guess they're considered basketball shorts. They're kind of baggy, very long. I like my shorts to be like right covering the knee or just like right above the knee. Uh, these did have a retail price of $30 on them. Uh, Bells was selling them originally for $19.99. And then they marked them down a couple times, and they went to eleven ninety nine, which is when I bought them. Like I said, there were two of them, and because I liked the way they fit, I liked the length of them, I did go ahead and buy both pairs. So these were shorts that I bought when I first visited Bell, and I said I really liked them. Uh, they were originally, or at least the retail on them, was $30. Bells had them for $12.99. They did get marked down just a little bit to $9.74, so still a good price compared to $30. And like I said, they're very long, they have pockets, and I just thought that they would be great to have. So if I didn't mention it already, I really like the color blue. These are equivalent to like a sweatpants material. They are athletic wear, but I love them. Very comfortable. They're made by a brand called Legend, or they were made by a brand called Legend. Originally $32, uh, Bells got them for $9.99, and then I picked them up on sale for $5.99. So that was a steal of a deal for those. And again, the length of the shorts was good, so I went ahead and said I couldn't leave those behind. So this is a prime example of really good deals at Bell's Outlet. So this is a set of two Ultra Performance shorts. As you can see, they are a good length, nice material. Originally, they were $24, and this is just the retail price. Bells had them for $9.99. Then they went on sale. They got marked down significantly. They went to $3 for two pairs of shorts. $1.50 a piece for brand new shorts. That's cheaper than the thrift store, y'all. So these, I was actually quite surprised that they were still there. These are Perry Ellis sleepwear pants. These are so soft. Couldn't believe that my size was left. Like I said, these things are super, super soft. Originally, um, retail, $46. Now these I did pay regular price for $12.99, which, like I said, these are so soft. I can't believe it. So I kind of couldn't leave those. Those will be good to have for lounging around in the house. So these were a really good buy. These are Reebok brand shorts. And usually I don't go for yellow, but I tried these on and I really liked the fit of them. Originally they were $35 retail. Bells got them for $10.99, and then they got marked down to $3.30. Like I said, that's cheaper than the thrift store. Usually shorts, depending on what they are in my area, they could be probably about that. And depending on brand, like if it's a Walmart brand and it's in good shape, and maybe it's half off, I'll buy them. But, you know, even sometimes Walmart apparel can be kind of pricey brand new, so I will take... Whatever I can get, but I'm not going to need shorts for a while after finding all this at Beals or Bells. So I did get two pairs of those because I could not believe they were only $3. So I'll have these for quite a while. 
All right, so I did get a pair of these. These are made by the brand Layers. Layers Men's. Uh, these retailed for $28. Bell's got them for $9.99, and then they just got marked down to 3 bucks. These are almost like a... Like, almost like a raincoat material, if that makes sense. So I just couldn't leave those. Again, like I said, $3 for a brand new pair of shorts. You just can't beat that. So these are a little bit above the knee, which I don't really like, but sometimes there are exceptions to the, your own rules that you make about clothes. Uh, these are made by Hind, Hind, probably Hind, or maybe it's Hind. Look at the retail on these, $68. What fool would pay that? So uh, Bell's got them for $9.99, and then they got marked down to $3. And what I like about these is that they have a like a mesh lining in them. So they almost like adhere to your body or like form fit to your body when you're working out. So I did pick those up because those will be good for like if I'm cutting the grass or, you know, eventually um, with the new year coming, I do want to go to the gym. I want to get myself in shape and just start eating better because I'm not getting any younger. And let's just say I put on a little bit of weight in some places and I can definitely tell. So we shall see what happens. All right. And this is the last pair of shorts that I would like to share with you all. So these, I think were originally swim trunks because it does say surf and swim coat trunks, surf, Maybe that's just the name of the company. But anywho, I'm sure these could probably double as swim trunks as well as just regular shorts. They have that same like bathing suit style, but that meshy material. So if I got these wet, it wouldn't be the biggest deal. Originally, ooh, I'm going to fix that. Originally $68. Now we all know that if this was at a department store, it would have probably been on sale or maybe not, depending on where you go. Uh, Bells did get this originally for $12.99, and it just got marked down to $3.90. Brand new with the tags. I mean, you really just can't beat those prices. So that is everything that I would like to share with you all from my few trips to Bells. Uh, if you have one in your area, I highly recommend checking them out because they have really good stuff. Prices are pretty phenomenal. Um, either be it regular price or even the clearance like I just shared with you all. I mean, like, look, $3.90 for a brand new pair of shorts. Like, you just can't beat these bargains. And they've got, like I said, if you shopped at a TJ Maxx, a Marshalls, you kind of get the idea. Like, they get really nice things in there. Some brands you've never heard of before, but the quality's nice. And I haven't been disappointed with things I've bought from there, so... Check them out if you have them in your area or just look to see if you have one near you because you can find some real bargains in there. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Take care everyone.